Next up, we're joined by Gail Ball, who is COO and EVP at the Bancorp. What makes you so passionate about working in the payments industry? Well, because I think that payments equals people. Um, I started out in life wanting to be a mathematician because I thought math was a way to, it was like film, it was a way to record what was happening. Um, when I went away to college, what I learned about economics and payments is that payments is really just what shows up when people make choices about how to live, where to live, how to spend, what to buy, what to do, how to, how to invest. And so I am constantly excited about being in the payments industry because it's just a window onto how people can live their fullest. Mm, okay, for sure. And it would be great to kind of uh, talk a little bit about where you see the greatest kind of opportunities for you know, innovation and technology to help solve some holes, plug some holes in the system. Where, where, where do you see those kind of opportunities? Uh, I think the opportunities are in a couple of different places. Um, I, I think we have completely not come close to exhausting the opportunity for answering the accessibility question. We are advantaged today, of course, by the unbelievable um, number of smartphones that are out there in the world in every kind of condition in every community. Um, and so I think we're going to have continuing opportunity to change the access, accessibility question. Um, when you talk about access, though, it's hard not to talk about global. Um, small businesses, 75% of them have an international supplier or an international customer. Um, people cross borders uh, much more uh, readily than ever before and it is clear to me before it was clear before I came and it's incredibly clear after I sat out in our booth for an hour today every person who came to the booth is trying to solve the international remittance problem right. and it's it's clearly not solved yet so there's a huge opportunity I think technology and I think incredible design and legislative and regulatory change is going to be needed to solve that but we have the capacity to think that through and make that happen do you think it's important for you know these new this new generation of kind of financial technology companies to be kind of open-minded uh, because they're not actually quite sure what people are going to use the technology for? Yes, I think that's absolutely the case, and I would say actually being at this particular conference, that open-mindedness is just uh, it's it's visible everywhere. Everybody you talk to just has this much of the idea, and they know there's this much <laughs> that they you know still need to vet. Um, and so that openness, I, I think, is a very powerful positive force for yeah. what's ahead. Yeah, I guess the challenge is weighing that with, you know, protecting customers and compliance and regulation, and you know, the bank corp has to do that as much as anyone else, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, often we, like everybody, has to think about how do you balance the um, regulatory requirements with the product innovation and product demand requirements. Um, I once heard somebody way smarter than me uh, talking about um, a, a similar kind of balance and when asked how they approach that, they said they approach it with deep respect. And actually I find that's really informative uh, even in this place. I attended a session yesterday about Dodd-Frank after five years. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Um, there was much less respect for the intent um, and uh, than there might have been. If we, if we gave a little more thought to the intent, then we'd probably figure out the way to amend or modify it to preserve the intent and still expand, um, you know, eliminate the constraint that the law caused in so many different places. So um, I, I think bankers, like the Bancorp, um, as well as these technology innovators, as opposed to just saying, you know, oh, this is terrible, they, they should get in a little bit into the thinking and then figure out how to unwind that. I mean, do you feel like there could be more, from a regulatory perspective, more done to sort of help people innovate, you know, and help startups out? Or do you think it's a necessary evil that this, it, disruption is going to happen, but it'll be slow? Um, actually, I think uh, it's a combination. Um, I heard a phrase the other day that I was actually just talking about, permissionless innovation, okay. and which I think actually we should embrace much more fully and be while being respectful, we should be much less concerned about the particular trappings of you know, certain regulatory interpretations. Um, and we should feel empowered, uh, another Bancorp uh, you know, tenant, but we should feel empowered to really push limits and, and innovate. Um, on the flip side, you need capital to do that. 
and a number of regulatory um, constraints exist in getting access to capital, and I think that there's uh, an opportunity to maybe look for some uh, resolution to that, which will really uh, further the effectiveness of the innovators and disruptors in payments.